Welcome to a Cape Fear Parrot Sanctuary Glossary, Volume A through G. A. Avian and aviary. Avian means relating to birds, and aviary is really a large birdhouse. Aviaries at Cape Fear Parrot Sanctuary are constructed out of a variety of materials and are individually created to meet the needs of the species of parrot that will inhabit it. Most of the aviaries are made out of wood with wire screens, but we do have a few that are made out of metal because we had the good fortune of having metal caging and fencing donated to us, and we ended up being able to use those materials to build some aviaries. All aviaries are constructed in size to accommodate flight. Right now, we are expanding the largest of our macaw aviaries. The largest macaw aviary we have right now is 36 by 80 by 8 feet, and we are laying out lumber and will soon erect an additional wing to add another 100 feet of space for the macaws to fly freely. B. Beak. A parrot's beak is super important because it serves as a tool for eating, climbing, and cleaning. Parrots have short, curved beaks made of bone and keratin that are used for cracking open nuts and eating hard fruits. A unique feature of a parrot beak is that the upper beak can move independently and upward in relation to the beak below, which gives parrots dexterity and the pressure they need to crack nuts and to crush through hard food items. Suffice it to say, a parrot's beak is razor sharp, so none of the parrots at Cape Fear Parrot Sanctuary are to be handled by anyone other than trained staff. Because even though our parrots appear really friendly and sweet um, when people engage with them from outside of their aviaries, fingers really do look like tasty treats. C is for cacophony. Cacophony is a mixture of harsh, discordant sounds. With every parrot having their own specific chirp or screech or squawk, there is a constant cacophony here at Cape Fear Parrot Sanctuary. D is for down. Down is a soft, fine, fluffy type of feather, and they are found in layers underneath regular feathers on some types of birds. Some of our parrots, such as the cockatoos, will even grow down feathers that contain a powdery substance that actually waterproof other feathers. Down feathers trap air and help insulate the bird. So these down feathers help keep our parrots cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. E is for eye pinning. Eye pinning is a bit of a flash of a bird's pupil that indicates that the bird is paying attention or is interested in something or even excited. Uh, when training a bird, looking for eye pinning can alert a trainer to the fact that the bird is learning something. When eye pinning occurs, the pupil will dilate from large to small. Now it's hard to tell in some birds, um, especially the ones who have larger pupils, uh, but it does take a lot of time for a human to learn what the normal state of a pupil of any bird 
is to be able to tell when it is dilated. Now, eye pinning could also mean that a bird is so interested in something that it may strike. So that could either be a toy or food or even a hand. So this is why here at Cape Fear Parrot Sanctuary, we ask all visitors to keep their hands down and away from the aviaries and to stand at least a foot away from each aviary. F is for forage. To forage is to search for food, and that is a task none of the Cape Fear Parrot Sanctuary residents ever have to do because they are served their meals. Now, in the wild, a parrot will spend the better part of its day foraging for food. This is a natural instinct, so even though the parrots here are literally served home-cooked meals, we still provide them with foraging opportunities such as giving them nuts to crack open or putting millet on the ground so they can kind of hunt for it. Now, we do give the birds a variety of meals. We give them fresh mix made of grains, vegetables, seeds, fruits. Um, one of their favorites is this delicious mix uh, that we get from Christine's. We're so grateful that she gives us so many wonderful things. Um, but they still need to engage in that act of foraging because it's natural to them and they shouldn't be deprived of their natural instincts. Now, on a side note, we love ugly fruit and vegetables here. We don't like to waste any natural products. So we buy a lot of uh, ugly bananas, ugly apples, um, because we don't want anything to go to waste. G is for glide. To glide is to fly without use of wings. It is unpowered flight. So one reason we keep expanding our aviaries here at Cape Fear Parrot Sanctuary is so that the birds can both fly and glide. Birds glide to minimize energy used by flapping their wings. So even though the birds here at Cape Fear Parrot Sanctuary don't need to fly great distances, it's still in their nature to take flight. So we like to provide ample space for flying and gliding. We hope you've enjoyed this first episode in our three-part glossary series, and we hope that maybe you even learned a little something. Here at Cape Fear Parrot Sanctuary, our mission is to provide quality care and a quality habitat where our residents can live out their natural lives. If there's anything in particular that you would like us to share, please let us know in a comment. Our aim is to provide educational content and also a little entertainment. So thanks for watching.